So there's some alternatives with Plain With Alcohol Links. Um, I think we should explore that, especially right now. And alcohol being really hard to come by. Let's look at another alternative. Howdy, howdy everyone, this is Clara Lawrence. And as you guys know, I enjoy playing with alcohol inks. However, right now, alcohol is a little hard to come by. Uh, in fact, it's actually very hard to come by. I have a couple bottles myself that I have designated for using art, and I also have some in my home. And I try not to hit my stash at home. I wanna make sure that's always safe. But I don't have a problem hitting the stash at the art in my art studio and bringing it inside if I need it. And so for y'all that are wanting to play with alcohol links, but you can't get the alcohol, there's another alternative. So I did a little bit of looking around just, you know, real quick on Amazon and alcohol blending solution is available. Now, I don't think this has got many healthy attributes to it. In other words, uh, the same uses we're doing uh, alcohol with a uh, you know cleaning up and stuff like that because I believe there's other elements in here. Um, I think glycerin is one of the uh, solutions that's also incorporated in here. I don't know the percentages. I don't. It's, I know some people will make their own blending solution, so I'm not trying to encourage you to do that just of yet because obviously you need alcohol in order to make your own blending solution. But there are some products that are already available, so that way we're not taking alcohol out of much needed hands right now. So, but later on when things have, and let's hope they do, uh, when they uh, have settled down, then, you know, explore that as far as making your own blending solution. But for now, we're going to play a little bit with alcohol over here and a little bit of the alcohol blending solution over here. So that way you can see kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. And I'm just gonna do some simple things like creating some um, overall black uh, background blends, using some paintbrush, um, creating dots, removing color, and things like that, or even trying to do a little bit of a, you know, saturated area where you have it fade out. So we're gonna literally put two canvases side-by-side -side so you can take a look. And that way you can play with alcohol links at home without having to worry about taking alcohol away from somebody who might need it. So yeah, like I said, plenty of this on Amazon. I'm sure Amazon won't mind selling it to you. Okay, let me just set up. Okay, so let's see. I've got a cup here with some alcohol in it and a cup with blending solution. And then I've got one, the same color I'm going to use on both of these canvases. And this is uh, Everglades by Ranger. And by the way, the uh, blending solution I'm also using is also by Ranger as well. So let's see. So the first one we're going to do is uh, just an overall, I'm going to do uh, a wash of alcohol, put a drop, and then move it around and then move it with a uh, dryer. So, and I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. Let's get started. Let's see, get my dryer handy. Clean up a little spot here for it. Okay. So I'm gonna try and use the same amount on both sides. It's gonna be tricky, because one of these is kind of a wider mouth bottle. And this is the alcohol, so we're gonna do two drops here. And then, this is something I would do normally. I would kind of tilt it around. And I'm just trying to create a nice blend. And just kind of move it around a little bit and then very gently start to dry this up.
right, that's that one. All right, now for the blending solution. Again, trying to put the same amount on. Two drops. Is I didn't tilt it. So let's see if I can do that. It does seem to dry a little bit faster. It's not that it's a problem. It just seemed to dry a little faster and it gave me a nice softer blend uh, because of it. Um, so here I'm gonna try and put a dot of alcohol ink and then add alcohol to it and try to get that dot to go lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. And then I'll do the same thing over there. So this time, I'm going to get my small bottle of alcohol. Let's see. One drop. And anytime you work with... Okay, two tiny drops of alcohol. Anytime you work with a new type of solution, it is going to behave a little differently. Two tiny drops, and that's to be expected. So all I'm doing is pushing it in and pushing it back out. I'm going to put a couple drops in the same area. See if I can get more color to come out. Couple drops near the tail. Okay, a couple of drops near the tip again. All right. Do one drop over here. All right. A couple drops of blending solution on top. This is the starting place. The bottle is slightly different. That's why I moved to my thinner bottle. With alcohol, so it'll be a little bit thinner. All right, so all I'm looking for here is not necessarily that these are identical, but that you can get a really saturated look and a very nice fade on both sides. So, again, kind of in the middle there, get some more color out. Push it in, and push it back out. Push it in, push it back out. This for a second. I seem to be bumping it, so I'm just gonna eliminate that for a sec. I'll bring it back in as soon as I'm done. Two. use two different types of like color pencil and notice that they will behave 
differently. And I'm not meaning like two different colors, but two different brands. So that's kind of what we're dealing with here. Instead of having two different brands of colors, we've got two different brands of solution or types of solution that we're working with. Okay. And then you just make adjustments as you get working with this. All right, now I'm gonna take a brush and just dip it into alcohol. And what I'm gonna do is just rub it down and then come back over it multiple times and then dip it in again and do it again. And then I'm gonna also do another one where I'm working on doing a removal and seeing how that works. So I'll do some brush strokes over here and then I'll do a removal over here. So that way there's a definite different area. So we'll do the alcohol first. I only got a little pink on my brush here. I need to get rid of that. Okay. So we're not adding color. We're just simply working with alcohol on the brush. And then I'm gonna go back through a couple different times. So I'm picking up a little bit of color on my brush. Then we're gonna pick up some more alcohol. Do some more strokes. Picking up a little bit of color as we go through it. All right, clean my brush real quick. Now I'm gonna work in this area and just go and what I'll do is I'll stroke it down, clean off my brush, get some more alcohol, repeat, 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 until we can get down to almost the base color. And sometimes you gotta dip your brush in the alcohol to clean it off the color a little bit. And some colors might not go all the way down to the white. Um, some might stain. This is a pre-gessoed board that I got from uh, Jerry's Artorama. I believe they're also on Amazon. So sometimes some inks will stain the gesso. And the blue in this might be doing that very thing. Okay, so you can get to see the comparison of just those two simple techniques. In fact, I might even go as far as one more thing since I'm on alcohol right now, is I'm gonna go and get a little bit on the brush and I'm just gonna do some tiny little dots. I'm just dot it around. So we'll see how it behaves. Okay. Off my brush will go here. All right, now I've got the um, blending solution and get that in my brush really good. Okay, so now we're going to do just some simple brush strokes and then with the solution still in place, run a couple lines through it, clean off my brush. Pick up some more. All right, one last little bit. Seeing something very interesting happening here. I bet you're picking it up too. All right, cleaning off my brush after each time, trying to remove the color. By the way, if you use your brushes with alcohol or the blending solution you'll notice that the next day even if you clean them off really good with a blending solution or alcohol they'll get really um stiff like stiff as a board kind of thing and um what you can do is uh re soften the bristles with either alcohol or blending solution just enough for it to get 
um, some flexibility back in the bristles again. And then go wash it off with a tiny bit of soap and water under the uh, uh, faucet and it'll come back to life again. I'm gonna continue this because it seemed to reactivate that and bleed back in. So I'm wondering if we can, oops, I'll bump that again. Continue to remove that. Let me dry that off a little bit. So what's interesting is you get the blue undertones have kind of stained it with the alcohol and the alcohol didn't, wasn't able to pick up the blues, but the blending solution was. And this area here is a little bit more saturated than this area is. However, it does have some tough points right in there. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, and I did not put the dots. I need to do dots. All right, get some on my brush. All right, so there you have it. Now let me get you down so we can get a close up. All right, I'm gonna turn this real quick. All right, so this is the alcohol one and we're gonna look at the blends. And the white removal there and working with the brushes here. And the dots. Very simple thing. All right, and this is just adding and working with the alcohol to blend it out and the dryer. So they're able to get really nice fades. Sorry about the shadows. All right, put this to the side. Bring the other one in. Okay, so this is the blending solution. So overall, nice blends. And I'm really impressed with the removal on this. I have to keep that in mind if I, if it's important, I need to go to white. I've been primarily using alcohol for a while, so this was good for me. And then the little dots. And then over here, with it saturated and then trying to get the blends and it did fade out neat very nice and I bet we could push that even further to go into a white because this area here is almost completely faded out so I'm real happy with the blends there so you see what I mean by the uh, the blending solution is definitely a good option if you don't have any access to alcohol. So it's not like you're compromising a whole lot because in some aspects it works even better. Uh, so yeah, we all need some good options right now. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. Later, y'all.